Hi everybody, how are you? We hope you're feeling good and have been staying healthy. Before we start this week's lesson, who can remember what we spoke about last week? That's right, it was emotional health. We challenge you to talk about how you're feeling more in the hope that this will make you feel better. We also showed how exercise can put a smile on our face too. Now, are you ready for a new lesson? This week's topic is personal hygiene. We'll be exploring how important it is to keep our bodies healthy, but also, most importantly, our hands. We've got some fun activities for you to take part in, but before we start that, we've got something extra that we want to show you. So now we're going to do a quick experiment. This experiment is really simple. All you need for this is a bowl of water and some pepper. We're going to show why it's important to use soap on our hands when we wash them. So I'm going to pour some pepper into the bowl of water, like so. And my hands currently don't have any soap on them. I'm going to dunk my fingers into the bowl and hopefully you'll see the pepper has stuck <laughs> to my fingers, like so. This time, we're going to do it again, but we're going to apply soap to my fingers. I'm not going to mix it around just yet, and when I go to place it in this time, watch what hopefully happens to the pepper. Can you see that all the pepper has moved away from my fingers? That is because the soap is acting as a repellent to the pepper. How did you find that experiment? It's really interesting to see how the pepper reacts when you've got a hand with no soap on it and when you've got a hand with soap. That just goes to show how important soap is when you're washing your hands. So every time that you wash your hands, make sure that you use soap every time. We're now going to do a warm-up game with you. The way that the warm-up's going to work is you will need a fairly large space. This can be done inside or outside though. You're going to split your class in half and each group will need one hula hoop, maybe like the one we've got here. The challenge is you with your group of friends are going to hold hands and stand in a circle. One person will start with the hula hoop on their arm like so and then you'll join hands with everybody. You cannot let go of each other's hands. When your teacher says go, the challenge is to pass the hoop around your body, like Mr Kennard has here, to the next person, imagine we're holding hands, to get it through your body and all the way back around the circle to the person who started with it. The group that will be the winning group is the one who gets the hoop round the fastest. Are you ready? Give it a go. <laughs> How did you find that warm up? Was it good fun? If you imagined that the hoop was a piece of bacteria, it just shows you how quickly the germs can spread from one person to another and all the way around the class. That's why it's so important to make sure that you wash your hands because washing your hands will stop that germ from spreading. Now, we're gonna try a new activity with you. This game is called Heads Down, Germs Up and Mr Tremaine's going to explain it. The way that this game works is five or six people will stand at the front of your classroom. Your teacher will give you one sticky post-it note each. Everybody else needs to place their heads on their table and close their eyes. The people at the front of the room will then place the sticky post-it notes around your classroom in a place you would normally touch. Once they're finished and they're back at the front of the classroom, you need to place your hands up if you can see where they've placed them. If you get any correct, your teacher will ask you to swap with the people at the front of the room. 
Now, for a bit of fun, we've played this game with you as well. We've stuck six different germs around the area that we're standing. See if you can pause the video and make sure you can see or find the six different ones. Have it as a trial run. Put your hand up if you can see and tell your teacher. How was your game of germ tag? If you didn't do germ tag, how was your superbug worksheet activity? Hopefully you found either one of them good fun. We're now going to move on to our final activity, which is the five steps to clean hands. We have sent your teacher a poster that looks just like this, so you can see it as well. You might even want to stick it up in your classroom near your sink. We're going to have a go at doing the five steps to clean hands with you. But before you do it, you need to make sure You've got your paper towels, your hand soap, and some clean water for you to try this. If you don't have this ready, don't worry, you can have a go at pretending along with us. The first step to the five steps to clean hands is to wet your hands. After you've done this, step two is to apply one squirt of soap. Step three, and this part, is when you can start to sing your happy birthday song because we know that it takes about 20 seconds to wash our hands properly. Clean the fronts and the backs of your hands. When you do this, make sure you turn your palms over and go in between your fingers. Don't forget to go up to your wrists as well. You can clean your fingernails in your palms of your hands. And also don't forget about your thumbs. Once your hands are nice and soapy, and you've cleaned every part of your hand, you can rinse your hands off again. And the final step, once you've got all of the soap off your hands, is to dry them with a paper towel and then make sure the paper towel ends up in the bin to not spread any more germs. How did you find that? Do you think that you could remember each of the five steps to clean hands? We try to remember them for every time we wash our hands. And that's the most important thing that you can do to stop the spread of germs or bacteria from one person to another person. Five steps to clean hands. We hope you enjoyed today's lesson and we'll see you again next week for another Healthy Futures bite-sized video.